Hi everybody, thanks for watching. So first of all, I have to apologize for my voice. I have a cold today, so I'm gonna sound like a ding dong. So I'm sorry about that. Second thing, I want you guys to check this out. That's right, 1,000 subscribers. You guys, I'm so thankful and so appreciative of your guys' support of this channel and what I'm doing. And I really love having you around and visiting with you guys, it's so awesome. I can't believe I got to a thousand subscribers. Everybody says that, but really, truly, I can't believe it that I got to a thousand. And you guys are just subscribing so quickly, I can't even keep up with you. That was a couple of days ago, and I'm already at, you know, a thousand plus. And so thank you so much for that. As a small token of my appreciation, if you watch this video all the way through to the end, I'm going to show you guys how you can win something, a really cool accessory for your Mavic Pro. That's right, I'm going to do my very first giveaway so I'm kind of excited about that it's a pretty cool accessory so watch the video all the way through to the end and I'll show you how you can win something now on to today's topic about a week ago I tried shooting a video showing the difference between using an ND filter on your Mavic Pro and not using an ND filter but unfortunately I was rudely interrupted by a couple of waterfowl so I apologize for that but today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot that video I'm gonna take the Mavic up and just get some footage without an ND filter and then I'm gonna take some footage with the ND filter and just show you guys how much your footage can be improved by using this one simple thing on your Mavic Pro. So today I'm gonna to be testing out the ND filters from Polar Pro. Now I've been watching some YouTube videos on these and I've read a lot of good things about these guys and about this company. So I'm gonna actually check these out. I've tried out some other ND filters and it looks like these tend to be the most widely used ones, the most accepted and probably the best quality. So I'm gonna check it out for myself and let you guys know what I think. So let's get the Mavic up in the air and check it out. Okay you guys, so on a sunny day, you know it's a lot easier to see when you have sunglasses on. And the same thing goes for cameras and video cameras and things like that. And basically what an ND filter is, it's like sunglasses for your camera and sunglasses for your Mavic Pro. So what I wanted to show you today, the benefits of using an ND filter and how it can make your footage look not only smoother, but it can also tone down some of those highlights on a bright sunny day. And so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put the Mavic up. As you can see, I don't have any filter on it right now. And basically I'm gonna put it on auto and I'm gonna see what the exposure sets itself at. And that's gonna tell me what kind of ND filter I should put on there. So let's get it up and let's get some flying around without the filter on. And then I'll bring it down and put the filter on and see what the difference is. Okay, so let's bring it back down and let's put an ND filter on it and see what that looks like. All right guys, so I'm using the Polar Pro Cinema Series ND filters. The Cinema Series Shutter Collection comes in ND8, 16, and 32. And basically, the more sun that you have, the brighter it is, the more sunglasses you wanna put on your Mavic. So a 32 is for really bright sunny days 
And if you look at the Polar Pro website, it actually tells you, uh, it gives you some guidelines of what sh um, ND filter you should be using. And on a bright sunny day, when your shutter speed automatically hits 1 over 1250 or higher, you probably want to use that ND32. That's going to block out most of the sun, make it look nice. Today, since my shutter speed on auto was about 1 over 800, or kind of ranged around 1 over 800, I'm going to put on the ND16. And then the ND8 is mostly for like cloudy days or kind of a low overcast day. That's going to block out your sun for those um, not so bright days. So let's put the 16 on and put the Mavic up and see what it looks like. Now one of the coolest things I like about the Polar Pro, there's a lot of different ND filters out there and a lot of different brands and things like that. From what I found through my research, the Polar Pro tends to be the most widely used, plus it's the best one and a couple of reasons it's built very sturdy you can tell you know it's high grade aluminum it feels a lot sturdier than a couple of the other ones that I've looked at but the thing that I like about the Polar Pro it's so easy to put on basically what you need to do is you just need to hold your gimbal with two fingers pinch it nice and tight pop on that Polar Pro and it's good to go make sure you have it on all the way you want to make sure that you have it on there nice and straight okay so let's get it up with the ND16 and see what it looks like Okay, so there we got some shots with an ND filter and without an ND filter. And as you can see, the shutter speed automatically went to 1 over 100. Now that's not exactly where I wanted it to be. You know, I wanted it to be a little bit lower. I was shooting at 30 frames per second. And with the 180 degree shutter rule, you want to be twice that for your shutter speed. So you want to be about 1 over 60. Basically the 180 degree shutter rule means that if you're shooting in 30 frames per second, like I was for this video, you want to have your frames per second twice that. So if you're shooting in 24 frames per second, you want to have your shutter speed be as close to 1 over over 50 as you can. Now, 1 over 100 is still better than 1 over 800 because it slows your shutter speed down and you get a little bit of motion blur. You know, I think it would have been a little bit better if we could have got closer to 1 over 60, but I still think you're going to be able to see a difference. So, right now I'm going to run to the computer and I'm going to upload these videos and I'm going to see if there's any difference. I'm not going to edit them in any way. I'm just going to upload them just like they are and have you guys see if there's any difference when you use an ND filter on your Mavic Pro.
Okay guys, last thing for today's video. I promised at the beginning of the video, I'm gonna give away something. This is what I'm gonna give you guys, all right? For hitting 1,000 subscribers, I feel obligated to give you guys something back. Now, it's a very small token of my appreciation. I wish I could do more, but right now, this is all I can do. If you guys keep helping me grow, maybe I can do more when I get to the next milestone. But 1,000 is really cool. I really appreciate you guys hanging around with me, subscribing, commenting, visiting with each other, uh, hitting those thumbs up. All those things mean a lot to me. Now, I don't like it when people make people make their viewers do a lot of different stuff to try to win something you know like like subscribe share look me up on Facebook Instagram Twitter Google Plus I don't want you guys doing that because you want to win something I want you guys doing that because you like what I'm doing and you like the content that I'm putting out and it's bringing you some value so if what I'm bringing you is valuable to you then go ahead and subscribe and like and do all those other things but for now I do have to make you do one thing because I need a list to draw from so in order to get that list I need you guys to comment below and what I need you to do is comment below let's uh, let's think of something here you know what I want you to comment below with your favorite non-domestic beer if you drink beer if you don't drink beer that's okay just comment anything but you know I like German beer and there's a couple different brands that I like but I want you guys to comment below what's your favorite uh, non-domestic non-american beer because you know let's face it americans you know we're not the best at making beer we make some pretty good craft beers but you know as far as uh beer goes i think uh, some other countries got it going on so tell me you guys in the comments your favorite uh, alcohol favorite beer whatever you know it really doesn't matter just comment below anything that you want and in about a week what i'll do is i'll just put all those names on random comment picker and have it draw one person out of that list and that person i'm going to mail this right to your house and you can use this for your mavic pro or your future mavic pro if you're going to buy a mavic pro please consider clicking down below on the DJI link or any of the Amazon links. That really helps this channel out the most. And you guys can get what you need and pay the same price that you would anywhere else, but it helps out this channel a little bit. As always, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you for a thousand plus subscribers. Hit that thumbs up if this video brought you anything of value. Comment below to try to win one of these Polar Pro awesome Polar Pro ND filters. Share this video with your friends and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Thanks for everything, you guys. And as always, fly safe, fly smart. Watch me. I'm gonna be the best of science.